All right, I think I got it. Let me just make sure you guys are centered. Okay, so my whole setting this up didn't go as I planned. Uh, I guess I'll have to work on trying to figure out how to make this stream more effective. But hello everybody and thank you for coming today. I'm going to wait a few minutes before I get started just to see, um, wait for anybody who's going to pop in. But I am in my temporary home, I guess you should say. And so I don't have a lot of the stuff that I normally use to stream all this and to make videos and whatnot. So this is the best it's gonna be for now, but I think it works. I just need to get something up for you guys because it's really hard since we don't have any of our stuff from our recent move. And I'm basically starting with nothing. So hopefully this will be a something fun to do for the time being and yeah so uh if anything i guess i'll give a quick little disclaimer that you'll probably hear my dogs tinkling around with their <laughs> with their collars um i'm able to get the baby to take her nap right now so hopefully there's no interruptions and it's nice and quiet my husband may come home somewhere toward the end of this but um yeah, it should be fine. But otherwise, I guess um, we'll just get into this for now. Uh, so I'm, I basically bought another diamond painting. <laughs> I have been missing doing diamond paintings lately. And um, hold on, let me make sure I got a chat up somewhere here. Because I have nothing. I'm not viewing anything. Let's see. Lives. Here we go. Uh, can I view it? I cannot view that. Let's go to. Oh man. Here we go. Okay, let's click on this. Here we go. Okay, let me pause this out. Perfect. Okay, now I have a chat that I can see. <laughs> that would be really smart. But otherwise, uh, I guess I'll just start uh, unboxing this because I've had it for maybe three weeks now and I've been wanting to get into it because I really miss diamond painting. I've been working on my cross stitch because that was an easy travel project but I really wanted a diamond painting to do. So I ordered one and this is one of their new releases. Uh, it's the My Garden Needs Tending, which is Poison Ivy. And I don't know if any of you noticed in the background of my videos, I had pictures of Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. I'm a big Harley Quinn fan more than anything else, but when I saw they had Poison Ivy coming out, I had to have her because she is really pretty. Let me see if I can. Yeah, she's really, really pretty. So of course this is Diamond Art Club. I think I'm spoiled pretty much because their quality is really good. I've tried a couple other ones, which are videos that will probably go up in the distant future till my, like I said, when all my stuff comes in. And working on those made me miss working on Diamond Art Club. So we're just gonna unbox this and then we'll do a little chit chat, I guess, for a bit and call it a week, I guess, until I can find a craft I can do that won't require me buying a million things right now. <laughs> um, so, which I'll explain later on. But I guess we'll start opening this and uh, see what she looks like. Um, now they are actually selling Diamond Art Club at Joann's and they are also selling Diamond Art Club at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure about Michael's. 
I want to say I saw something about Michaels, but I don't remember now. But so you can go into a store. You don't have to order online, although they do have limited um, limited paintings. So I don't think I saw this. There's a couple of them, but nothing like my style in store personally. Uh, but their new boxes tell me that this is around, and this is really cool because it's like glittery. I didn't know it was glittery. These are things you don't notice when you watch videos on YouTube. Sometimes the camera just doesn't pick it up, but like it's like holographic y iridescent in the background, and then it's got like glitter on these red portions here. So that's really neat. Really cool to see it in person. But I guess that's most things anyways, right? Okay, so, oh wow, that was a lot. Okay, last time I know I forgot something in here. There's the toolkit. Okay, put that aside. So I have, these are supposed to be for like organizing. So if you were gonna save your box somewhere, you can stick it on the side so you know what the picture is, like if you store it on its side or something. So um, that's cool. And then we have our little chart here, like before, with the picture. This is going to be a round diamond painting. It's a 22 by 29 inches or 56 by 74. So this will be similar to my I Choose You that I did. It's about the same size. And I know it's got ABs. ABs are usually the first above 150 for the code, for the DMC code. So there's, looks like there's two AB colors and that's gonna be your AB drills, which are like, they got that nice coating on them. And um, what is it? It's like uh, Aurora Borealis, that's, the, that's what AB stands for. So they're just extra sparkly. Um, they're really pretty, but they're a pain in the butt to work with. So it's like a double-edged sword, but um, it always complements the paintings really well. Uh, and this artwork is by Mandy Manzano. So they definitely have a ton of her artwork at Diamond Art Club. Um, she does a lot of the princesses and the characters and all that. So she's pretty popular on there. So we have our kit, which I will need because I don't have any of my diamond painting stuff right now. It is all packed up in shipment. What else? Okay, so I got baggies, which I have uh, this thing of baggies that I bought on Amazon. So I'll probably use these and save these for now because um, I don't have my Elizabeth Ward kit to kit up. So I'm just gonna be working out a baggie. So this will be fine for now. So I'm gonna use those. I got my diamond painting pen and, oh, that's another baggie. This is a three, it's, it's a four placer. It looks like a thin placer. Like it's a thin one, which is nice because I actually do like the thin ones. I got one somewhere. And the thin ones are better than the thick, chunky plastic ones that you usually get. So I'm kind of excited about that. There's, and it's a four placer. So four is a good count. I like doing it with the, the multi-placer with the three or the four. Um, I have a squishy, so that'll just help you out. Like normal writing pen, if you've never done in painting, I'm not gonna stick that on. I have two things of wax, which I will need, and then um, a small diamond painting tray. So I'll put that aside for now, because we will need those. And then we'll get into this. I like this. Uh, that feel always gets me. It always, it's just soft. Like it's such a soft, um, like fabric-y canvas. It makes it feel really expensive. Oh man, this isn't gonna fit in, <laughs> in this camera for you guys. Wow, yep, it's a big one. 
So that teaches you how to diner paint if you don't know how, but we don't need this anymore. And then we have our diamonds, which I'll show you guys those in a minute. But yeah, this is gonna be a while to work on. So I'm excited. I'm excited to have this to do for a while. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. Super big, here we go. Let's see if I can get the bottom in there. She got super short shorts on, or dress I should say, super short dress. But this one definitely has more like color blocking areas, so um, it might be more relaxing in the sense that I can do other things and not pay attention so much. Cause I'm just gonna be like blah 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 in one area for a while so that'll be okay for now and then maybe I'll I'm waiting for another kit that I really like to be available on Diamond Art Club um, so maybe the next one will be more confetti who knows but yeah I'm super excited to start this today with you guys but on here it has two um, two of the uh, what is these schematic timetables um, symbol chart symbol chart and we've got 31 colors and then they also have another one down here at the bottom and then the bottom of here has the lifetime warranty which in case you didn't know if you give your canvas away like you bought it and then you give it as a gift or you resell it or something this is void so if there's something wrong with the kit, Diamond Art Club won't cover it. So that was interesting news to me because in case like you're missing drills or you drop your drills and this was something someone gave you, then you can't take advantage. But if it's yours or you know the person who gave it to you, then you can, you can let them know and they can contact for you. Um, and then it's got their social medias. Uh, here's take 10 for 10% off and then it's got the image and the name, the size, the artist and all that good stuff down there. So for this, I also went on AliExpress and because when I was in Germany, there was a lot of things I couldn't get shipped to me so AliExpress was one of them. And so now that I'm here in the States, once again, I'm able to get some of the stuff from there. And they have a lot of great diamond painting tools for cheap. So I ordered this tray. And I saw this tray on one of the diamond painting groups on Facebook. And this lady had, she was doing a painting, but she had like three of these and they were massive trays and i was like oh that's really cool like i'd love to have one of those <laughs> and so i went on i looked for it i bought it it was only like two dollars or something like that it came really fast i think i ordered this like no more than two weeks ago and it came in like yesterday um but the thing is i haven't opened this yet <laughs> excuse me and um through the package, I can feel the tray and it's just making me laugh because it is massive. <laughs> I can already tell this thing is huge. Like, But you know what it would be great for? It would be great um, if you're doing like a solid background on a painting where it's just one color like all over, like uh, Diamond Art Club's Nightbringer. Is it Nightbringer? And how it's all black. This would be a great tray for that. But let me show you. Like I said, I could feel it through the packaging. So I knew like what I was getting into with this, but to see it, I think will be different. But yeah, this thing is massive. So I was hoping to use it. Maybe I'll try, I guess. We'll see how it works out. I think it might be a little too big for this project. There is a lot of color blocking, but not like that not like giant sections. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. This thing is huge. Can you see how, I don't know if you can tell how big this is. This thing is massive. 
Um, what do I have for comparison? Like this? This is a notebook. It's basically almost the size of a notebook. But imagine how many drills you can like put in this. I don't know, I'll try it. I'll try it out and see how, how it works. I don't know if I can imagine like shaking it. We'll see, we'll see about this. So I have that, so we'll see if we use that. Um, and then we'll go to the diamonds. Check these out. I know there was, hold on, let me open this. I'm sorry if you don't like the plastic sound, but oh, look at these colors. Very um, fall, right? Very fall colors, greens, browns, orange, yellow, and then these blacks, oh, dark red. There's another brighter red here, dark green. Yeah, very fall colors. I guess that's really nice. That'll get me in the mood. For doing this right now cool there is um, an issue with this which I have to check I think the kits supposed to come with nine five five and some of the kits came with nine nine five so let's see it should be nine five five though because it's a uh, what color is it it's like a minty green is that? 955 okay so mine's okay then yeah it's a minty green but yeah some of the kids came with an accidental 995 995 instead of 955 so if you end up getting this kit just make sure you check that and then just contact them and let them know to so that they can give you the right um, diamonds for it so thankfully mine's okay no issues there we're good to go but um, I guess we can just start working on this. I mean, if you see my other videos for Diamond Art Club, um, they have super clear uh, symbols. They're all the same, pretty much. They look just like the other ones. Let's see if I can get you up close real quick. If I don't drop it. Yeah, so you can kind of see the symbols, hopefully. They're very clear. So no issues seeing anything there. All right, so I guess we'll get started somewhere up here in the top. And we'll do a little chit chat while I work on this. Let me see if I can move this over. How does that look? Can I bring you down a little closer? A little bit? I don't want to go too far so I can see too. Like I said, this isn't my normal setup, which I guess we'll get into so I can explain what that means. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing first? Uh, let's see. So I guess we'll start with this corner. And I'm seeing, what number is this? 890. Let me just get the beads and then we can get started. Oh, let me show you the AB colors. That would be smart. So there's two. I already see this one right here. This is pretty. It's a, it's like an orange, like a peachy orange. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting. This is the best I could do right now. But you see how it's like got that like multicolor top on them? That's what an AB is. It's got like an extra sparkly coating on it. So you see that? And then you see these, they're just like, they're not flat like a, like a mat because they're faceted, but you can definitely see that this one's got something on it compared to these. So this is one of the colors. This is 133, so that one's pretty. And then there's another one, where's the other one? Um, ooh, lots of black. Five bags of black. That's a lot of black, so. Um, where's the second color? This is like a chartreuse, chartreuse. 
that's a really cool color. Is it this one? Yeah, 141. So it's another, it's a white. And same thing, it's got that um, multicolored coating on top. Is it focusing? I hope it's focusing. Yeah, so it's a white. So there's a little bit of these, so I imagine they're just gonna go in little spots here and there. Um, otherwise, I guess I'll show you the rest of these. There's some greens. some browns, some oranges, and then this is like a Christmas tail right here, with greens and reds. I'm really excited about these colors. I didn't think I would because it looked like, well obviously this is a palette, like greens, reds, orange, and a little yellow. And I thought that was it, but like, it's crazy when you open them and you see like all the packets, like how many colors go into it. It's really cool, all that layering. All right, so what were we looking for? We're looking for this one. This one is 890, what color is it? Where is it, I lost it. 890, it's a dark green. Put it over here. All right, so let me get, here it is. Let me open this up. And once I get started, then we can get into the jabbering. Okay, so I'm gonna get my little baggie ready because I will be working out of these. Normally I would kit up, but this is fine. Like I said, I'd rather do it in my little like storage box, but since they're not here, we're gonna do it this way. So 890. Although this might suck later on when I'm like trying to look for the color. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. All right, so let's fill up my pen. So there's a little layer of plastic on here that you have to take off in order to get to the wax. So don't try and like poke it through right away. I'll load up my pen. Is that good? Let's see, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll load up the back. So I've just got it in there. Take off a little bit. All right. Wow, I haven't diamond painted since August, mid-August, most likely. So, if you don't already know, oops, I'm already making a mess. Okay, that's good. I, um, I recently moved from Germany back to the state. Get out of there. There we go. There's like one in here that doesn't want to get out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? I think the more question is, is, was it that important that I really needed this one drill? Yes, it was. I hate wasting. Okay. So we moved from Germany. We are now in the States. We are in Texas. This is our first time in Texas. And we've been here since September, the beginning of September. It's different. We are, me and my husband are from California. And he's been in the military now for 12 years. So he's been around a lot. He's been around the world. Um, we got married and so I've been to a few places now with him. So Germany was our last um, duty station. And we were in Bavaria. 
which is uh, where like Munich is. Um, so like the official original beer fest, that's basically where it originated from. We were about an hour away from there. And it was definitely an experience. I think we could have enjoyed it more. There was a lot of factors that went into why we didn't enjoy it as much as we probably could have. And anyway, so we did this, we just moved back. So we lived there for three years. So moving back here, it's definitely, we didn't realize how much we missed. <laughs> There's a lot of differences from there and here, for sure. So we came back and we, we feel like we're living in the future. It's crazy how much the US um, really takes uh, convenience to the limits. Like, the Germany was very, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say like back in time kind of thing, but I don't know, like we came back for example and we didn't know that Walmart like ships groceries to your door now. Like you can order online and have groceries delivered. And it's not even just Walmart, it's like everywhere does that now. So it was like that like little thing on its own, we were just like mind blown. Um, Germany, we, we were kind of in like the country area of Germany. So it wasn't, to get anywhere exciting, it took at least an hour drive. So like here, we hear a lot of people complain like, oh, that's 20 minutes away. And for us, we're like 20 minutes, like to get to like the middle of the city, like that's amazing. We are totally enjoying the nearness of everything right now. And it's just really good to be back. It's good to be back in the States. Uh, we didn't get to travel as much as we originally planned. He had us a, well, over there he had a very uh, time consuming job. And they were always not under, well, at one point they were understaffed. Another time is just each year it became more and more. And so he had to work more than anybody else on that base for the most part. So a lot of the four days and three days we didn't get to take advantage of because he was pretty much like on call 24 seven, 365 days a year, except for the major holidays, which is Christmas and Thanksgiving. So when everybody else got their schedules, he never had a schedule. And when a four day was coming up, he wouldn't know he would have the four day until he came home that Friday and was like, oh, they gave me the four day off. So we didn't get to plan anything. It was really hard to plan anything to make like a big trip or like even like a trip for the, for the four day because everything is so close over there. Italy is right there, um, Austria, France, uh, what's the other one? That's right there. Um, Latvia? No, not Latvia. What am I thinking? Oh, I can't think of it right now. Um, there's another one right there that we were really close to. We were close to the Czech, Czech Republic. Um, Prague was right there. It was like a two hour drive from us. So it was all really close, but I mean, unless we were gonna just up and go, like last minute, it, we couldn't do it and we couldn't even do that because we had you know we had our our two kids and so that made it a lot harder and we have dogs so we can't just like leave them we had to we'd have to make sure that they had someone to watch them basically so we didn't get to travel very much unfortunately uh we did make it to rome for thanksgiving last year that was amazing uh, we, we did all of Rome in like four days. We were exhausted, but we did it. And I can honestly say we did enough that if I never had, if I never got the chance to go back, it'd be fine because we saw everything we wanted to see. 
and we ate everything we wanted to eat. Oh, the food in Rome was amazing. It was so good. Uh, the other place I got to go to was Paris. And I went without my husband because he was actually here in the States for a school. He had to go to a school here in, in Georgia at the time. So I went and took my oldest. Uh, at the time, I think she was two. And so we went to Paris and we went there for a week and that was beautiful. I never was like that person who was like, Paris, like, oh, I'd love to go to, I was never like that. I'd love to go to Paris. It just kind of was like my friend was going and she's like, hey, like your husband's gone for like another month. Like we're going to Paris. You want to come with us? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> beats doing nothing by myself. And so I went and it was, it was awesome. It was amazing. I was blown away. It was like the architecture. There was nowhere you could look and not see like some really cool detail. Um, so that was Paris. Hold on, let me make sure I got the um, live chat. There we go. And so we spent time, we spent that week there, and that was about it. Otherwise, we saw quite a bit of Germany. Uh, we went to Frankfurt. We've seen Frankfurt, and we saw, like I said, we saw Munich. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We Germany itself wasn't our favorite. They, uh, I don't know, the food wasn't exciting. There was a few things, but mostly Germany, you would go for the beer. The beer, I wasn't a beer drinker. My husband's the beer drinker. But the beer there, it's like each town has its own special brew. So there's like a million different kinds of beers there. And they're supposed to be drank warm. Um, they also have a beer that's like mixed with like Sprite or Coke. And uh, that wasn't too bad. Otherwise, you get like the really cheap Italian wines. Uh, yeah, that was the crazy part over there as far as food was concerned. There was a lot of Italian food and a lot of Turkish food. Um, you can always find Donner's you can always find pizza and pasta. And it was like, oh, tell me a good restaurant nearby. And it was always a pizza and pasta restaurant. So, I mean, German food, it was like, you're either getting schnitzel or you're getting like bratwurst um, or potatoes. They had like 50 million types of potatoes that you can make there. Uh, what else? Yeah, so the food, we weren't excited about the food. Um, like I said, I think it was our location that made us not enjoy it as much as we could have. Like I said, we were in the middle of nowhere, so if we really wanted to go like do something for the day, it took like an hour to get there. Um, oh, Nuremberg, we were, we were an hour from Nuremberg. Um, that's a big one. Um, what else? So yeah, so that was our Germany experience. We were on a very small training base. And so we came really close with a couple of our friends. Um, or a couple of friends there, I should say, which we were really happy about. I think those friends are gonna be with us for a very long time, like keeping in contact, I mean, cause we are military, so we, you know, move around a lot. And so when you finally meet someone you like, you're usually moving by then. <laughs> so it was really, it was a really awesome experience to meet so many groups of friends that we had there. Just because of how small the community was, like everybody knew everybody for the most part. Um, hi, Gloria, thank you. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I feel like I should get you guys a little closer so you can kind of see more of what I'm doing. Let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna tilt you correctly. There we go. Maybe that's a little better. Um, so anyways, I, uh, we spent time 
with a lot of our friends and they had some activities and stuff there that we could do, but it wasn't much. So like I said, when we came back to the States, um, it was definitely different. It was definitely a culture shock. That's the word I'm looking for. It was a culture shock coming back. Um, the shopping, like the grocery shopping, it was, they like to go to different stores and buy thing, like a few things every day. So they would go to the store very often and they'd buy a couple things for like dinner that night or whatever. And they would go to different stores, little stores to do it. So they're, the one-stop shops are, they don't exist there. And so that was a little annoying because it's like you had, if you needed something like you had to go all over the place to get things. Um, it is really relaxing. Diamond paintings are super relaxing. And since this is like rounds, rounds are a lot easier to do than the squares. Squares, you kind of have to focus a little more for the placement so that they line up good. But um, the rounds are really easy to just like plop down real, real quick. Um, but yeah, it's a very relaxing craft. Um, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. And um, when it's things like this where it's very like a lot of color the same color in one spot you can easily like zone out so you can like do this when you're watching tv you can do this um you know talking to friends it's it's really great once i found it i'm like i'm sucked into it i i'll never i don't think i'll well at least not in a long time i think i'll always have some sort of diamond painting going in my free time that's why I had to order this kit because I was like, I miss diamond painting. I really want to do one. Uh, so yeah, so the, like I said, Germany, um, when we came back, we got here. So they packed all their stuff up at the end of August. It was like a one month, like, here's your orders. Bye. <laughs> and we're like, wait, like <laughs> we're supposed to be off in a month. Like we got to get out of Germany in a month. We only had a month to be there. And uh, yeah, so we uh, we had to move real quick. We had to sign out of everything and then get our stuff packed up and all that. And it was very stressful. It was a lot, it was a lot. I had to go through everything, make sure we got rid of stuff we didn't want to bring. Um, and the military moves you, if you didn't know. And so there was two shipments. They have one shipment that's a smaller shipment and that's usually the one that comes really fast. That one goes by plane. And that usually you put all your necessities like blankets, towels, pillows, um, kitchen stuff, things like that. So we had that one. Um, I think it was like the 21st of August or something. And then we had our big shipment where they packed up everything else for us basically. And that came like five days later. And so they packed up everything. We moved into a hotel the next day. We were in a hotel for like, what, five days, a week, a week. And then we flew out of Frankfurt and we got here September 2nd and we were in a hotel here for, oh, how long was it? Like three weeks we were in the hotel. Mind you, 14 days of that was quarantine. And, uh, so it was like, go, go, go. And then all of a sudden like stop. And so we have the two girls, we have the two dogs and we're in this hotel room. That's like a one bedroom kind of, it's a, it was a nice hotel room. I can't complain about it. So we were hanging out there. Uh, we got this temporary house 
Um, well, it wasn't supposed to be that temporary, <laughs> but uh, we got this temporary house at the at the end of September, and we've been here for about three weeks, a little over three weeks now, and we ended up. Well, to begin with, we knew when we were coming here, since we were moving here to Texas, um, they have a really good housing market here right now. So we knew when we got here, we wanted to buy. We wanted to use the VA loan and buy a house here, at least for investment purposes. And so we, uh, we got here with that thought, but we weren't gonna start until we like moved into this house and got our stuff and you know settled in a little bit and then like started looking at areas. Well, we ended up instantly falling in love with a certain area and we were, go we're going with a new build. So <laughs> it is in the process of being built right now and it's supposed to be done in the middle of January. I don't know if it's gonna take that long. A lot of people are telling us it's gonna be faster with how much is done with it right now. But the date they're giving us is no later than the mid-January basically. Which means that, remember when I told you about the smaller shipment, um, that came in, what was it, last week? Was it last week? Yeah, last week. So we have the smaller shipment of stuff, but our larger shipment with everything else is basically going to be in storage until then because we don't want to essentially move it all again by ourselves. At least if it's in storage until the house is ready, they'll deliver everything there um, for us. So that means I will be without all of my stuff till January. Right now we're living out of the stuff we packed basically and the little bit of things that we packed in our small shipment, which wasn't a lot because we've never done that smaller shipment before. So we didn't know what to put inside of it. So we just kind of, um, I guess this is enough. So now we have some stuff, but it's really not a lot. We've had to buy quite a few things to keep us, to live by, I guess you could say, uh, for now. So that's why I decided to do a live with this diamond painting. Unfortunately, I wish I could do, you know, other kinds of crafts but I don't have any of my stuff. I don't have my sewing machines. I really miss sewing right now. I'm so sad I don't have my sewing machine. Like I have that, the sewing itch right now and I just, there's nothing I can do because I'm not about to go buy a new sewing machine. Um, and then all the things I would need included with that. Uh, so it's gonna be a, long couple months um i was trying i've been trying to think of other things i could do that i could just buy what i need and i can make something with um but i feel like everything i'm going to need to buy the basics like most things a uh, hot glue gun or um what else have i been looking at um things with wire so i would need my my pliers my wire my wire pliers and stuff and it sucks that I have to if I want to do that stuff I'd have to buy it all over again when I already have that stuff it's just not here so I've been kind of bummed because I want to do some sort of crafting but I can't this is very easy because it all comes together in one kit so it's, if you've never diamond painted before everything you need comes in the box so it makes it really easy to do this 
Um, so I guess I have to find like other maybe little kits of crafts, but I'll have to look around. I know Joanne's has stuff, but it's a lot of it's for like kids. And I don't want to do like something too kitty. Um, maybe like one, but um, I don't know. I guess I'll have to go look. Uh, let's go with this next symbol, 699, another dark green. 699, oh, there's two bags of this one. Give me a lot of this color. Um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the update for the most part. Um, I am... So I guess now I just have, I have my diamond painting that I can work on for videos for you guys. I know you guys who come to my channel for sewing, I'm sorry. I wish, like I said, I wish I could sew right now. I'm dying to sew, but uh, I just, I don't have my, I don't have the equipment. And so I guess I could do quite a bit of diamond paintings and do like these little chatty videos for now and um, I do have my cross stitch which I will do an update soon because that video that I uploaded for the first one that was pre-recorded so I recorded that back in August before we left and I've done a lot on it a lot especially like I said we were just sitting in a oh I forgot to mark it before I did it oops six nine six six nine Six, six, nine. Um, yeah, I've done a lot on my cross stitch. So, uh, a little bit more. So I will um, be updating that soon. And I have another little project that I wanna do. I'm waiting to get it in the mail and then I can get a few other supplies for it. Um, so, oops. Hey, why do I do that? Okay. Um, so I have one, one little project I thought of that I could do. So I'll hopefully have that up. I'm also thinking of doing my how to utilize Joanne coupons kind of video. I can now do it since I, am, I have a Joann's near me, so I can use all the examples. I'm waiting for my mailer to come in. I hopefully signed up for it and they it, it got processed. So as soon as I get my mailer, I can film that video and I can show you guys the ins and, out, ins and outs of couponing at Joann's. Um, Joann's is my go-to. Uh, in Germany, it was, they didn't ship to Germany for a bit. And then at the very end, they started to, but it was so expensive to get something shipped from there. Um, I'm doing the right symbol, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. And uh, so now that I'm here, I can take full advantage of the coupons because that's really the only way you want to shop at Joann's is with coupons. They always have them. They always have sales, uh, so it's it's the best way to get all your craft supplies for sure. Hobby Lobby, mm, they have good sales, and so I would say Joann's first. If there's nothing at Joann's, Hobby Lobby when there's a sale, and if you really need to, then you go to Michaels. Michael's, I, it looks like Michael's is starting to have good sales or coupons now. Um, before they would only have a coupon every once in a while and it wasn't as interchangeable as uh, Joanne's coupons. Um, but I was looking the other day and someone was mentioning and saying that, uh, or I was looking at Michael's or something and they had some, they had a good cu a coupon going on. Um, so I'm really excited to get, I've been to a Joann's recently. I bought a few things. Um, 
I want to do a haul video, but I want to wait till I get a few more things because it's not a lot. I just kind of went in to take a peek and look around and I just picked up a few things that I saw, but uh, I'll wait till I get more of a haul, I guess you could say. Um, what was I going to say now? Oh yeah, I think, I think, uh, well, I don't think I know. I, I pretty much bought a bunch of patterns because I was waiting for the pattern sales. There's a lot of patterns I've been wanting to catch up on. And I was only able to buy patterns on the actual like uh, Simplicity website or the McCall's website. And so I had to wait for their sales on there, but they're not as good as getting them in Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Uh, once in a while, my calls did. Once in a while, my calls had a two ninety nine. Uh, but if you go wait for the Joann's or Hobby Lobby sales, you can get them for like a dollar ninety nine. They used to be ninety nine cents. Like you could get ten ten for ten. Uh, but I know prices have gone up since then. So now it sounds like the what is it? The two ninety nine, or sorry, the one ninety nine prices which still isn't bad considering normal price, they're like $20, $30. They're crazy expensive. Never buy a sewing pattern full price. You're wasting your money unless you absolutely like have to have it and need it right then and there. Um, even the McCall, cosplay for McCall's, you can wait till they're 50% off sale. Um, they have those from time to time. Um, let me take a drink real quick. Um, so yes, I've been to Joann's, I've been to Hobby Lobby. Um, those are the most excited places or the most excited I was for those places, um, besides the food, because now that we're in Texas, there is a ton of Mexican food here. <laughs> and I was like, yes, cause I am originally from California and a Southern California. California to be more specific and I mean there's some of the best of the best over there next to I mean I'm from LA County LA and you can pretty much find anything there so when we moved when we started moving around well I started moving around because he's been like I said moving around for longer than I have but um, I was really bummed it was hard to find certain foods that I was craving that were like authentic because in in Los Angeles you get any culture you want you can find their authentic authentic restaurant foods there um, and you really don't realize like how or I guess I didn't realize how fortunate I was to be so close to all of that and you know once it was gone it's like you don't know until you don't have it anymore um but yeah i'm really happy to be back with mexican food i have not tried tex-mex yet uh i'm not sure that's i mean i'm sure it'll be okay but i don't i don't know if that's something i would like but we'll see uh so the Mexican food, what else do they have here? They have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of Chinese food here that I've noticed. Maybe it's just the area, I don't know. But like take out, like take out Chinese food. Um, they do have uh, some Salvadorian food here. My husband is Salvadorian, so we're excited to try some of those Salvadorian restaurants here. Um, what else? We've been to HEB. <laughs> we nearly lost our minds going inside there. It is massive. That is a massive grocery store. I've never been in something so big. It was, it was crazy how big it was. And we went into the plus like a week later and we were even more <laughs> mind blown. Like they had like a sushi bar. They had uh, 
another food bar in there. They had the fresh made tortillas, uh, like flour, mostly flour. I was like, oh, flour, come on. Like, where's the corn? But they have like fresh made tortillas and then they have, um, it was a lot. It was, <laughs> it's a giant grocery store. If you've never been to one, like, it's definitely a place to see. <laughs> um, I mean, you think Costco is big? It's like a Costco, but with not bulk, not in bulk, like no bulk shopping, just regular grocery store. It's crazy. Um, but like I said, this is from us coming from like, you know, total culture shock with where we came from with nothing like that. Nothing even close to that size. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, so we've been, we've, we checked that out. We've checked out, um, oh, they do have an in and out near us. Not super near, but it's, it's close enough. I mean, like I said, we had to drive an hour for anything. So for us, anywhere, <laughs> everywhere here is like super close by. But we had in and out the other day. We were totally missing in and out It was so good. We scarfed it down. We like inhaled our food our burgers. Um, like I said, we're from California, so in and out is our, we're in and out. Although, we did try Whataburger. And we actually really liked Whataburger, but we cannot compare it to in and out They are two different burgers. I will tell you that much. They, Whataburger reminds me of like Burger King, but like a really healthy, like fresh Burger King. Not healthy, I guess you could say, but it's like fresher. Like it doesn't, I don't know what it is. It's like hard to explain, but it's very similar more to Burger King than In-N-Out. But I think where the the contest comes in is because I guess Whataburger is their big burger chain here and In-N-Out is our big burger chain in California. So I, I understand where the, where the contest comes from, but you really can't compare the food because it's two entirely different burgers. Um, but we, we enjoyed it, we liked it, it was really good. Um, we wouldn't mind going back, so we tried that. Um, what else have we eaten? Panda Express, that has a drive-through. We were like, how does Panda Express have a drive-through now? <laughs> uh, we've had Chipotle, like I said, all these things they do not have. In, they had a Chipotle in Germany, but it was in Frankfurt, and that's like three hours away. So we were not about to go drive three hours, three and a half hours to get Chipotle. Um, what else have you eaten? McDonald's. Mm, yeah, I think that's about it. This is the extent of our... We want to eat it. Uh, the one thing I am missing is Panera. I haven't had Panera in years. I love Panera. I worked there for eight years. Um, I originally went to school for baking. So right after high school, I went to culinary school. I did that for like eight months, eight months. Graduated and then that's when I started at Panera. And I was working at Panera for eight years as a baker trainer. And I love baking, I do. But when we got married and I moved out with him, that was when I quit. And I ended up getting more into sewing and crafting. Uh, I... I didn't want to stay at Panera anymore because the job wasn't allowing me to be creative. I was really craving a creative outlet. And as much as it was a great job and I made good money and it was, it was a career job I was working pretty much, the, the, what my job was. Um, if you're an associate in the front, that's different. But if you're a baker at Panera, it's uh, more of a career job. And so I just, like I said, I, it was the same thing every day. It would only change um, seasonally. 
when you got the seasonal items in and then your timeline would slightly alter to include those. And then you would um, do the same. Yeah, like I said, it's the same thing every day. So I just, I, like I said, I was craving creativeness and I couldn't express myself there. So when we got married and we were moving to Washington, um, I was like, okay, once I leave, like that's it. And, uh, and I left and that's when I started sewing. At the time, I just had my Etsy store. I had an Etsy store where I made uh, skirts. Uh, and then that was doing okay. I was making like a little tiny bit of pocket change. It wasn't much. And then we got to, what did I do? Oh, then we moved. We moved again. It was still in Washington. We just moved homes. And when we moved homes, that's when I started my YouTube at the very end. At the very end of the three years that we were in Washington. And I really enjoyed doing the videos. So I kind of stuck with it. And I've just been doing that for the last, what, four years now? So I feel like I'm starting to get a pickup. So for all those new subscribers out there, thank you so much for subscribing. Like I'm, I keep checking every once in a while and it's like, it jumps like a big jump. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh God, like I wish I had more videos to upload right now. I really don't. I'm, I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I subscribed and then she's not around. Like I'm here. I just, I'm really struggling to find stuff to do right now because of, the fact that I don't have anything with me until, like I said, at least at least January, um, I'm trying to find more more ideas, um, but it's really hard. Like I said, because everything needs something. Everything needs something. <laughs> That's how craft hoarding works, <laughs> because. If you start one project, you have to buy everything for that project and you're not going to use everything completely. So it ends up going in your craft storage and then that's how you end up becoming a craft hoarder <laughs> because one day you'll have a project and you'll be like, oh, I have the perfect thing in my stash for that. And I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been really trying to use everything I already have. Uh, when I had my Etsy, I bought a ton of fabric, a ton. I will one day have to show you, I guess when my stuff comes in and it's organized, I'll show you guys in a like craft room tour or something. Um, and you can see the amount of fabric I have, but I've been working through that. Um, I really haven't bought too much new fabric in the last couple years. Uh, so I'm trying to get through it. There's a lot though I think I'll never use. I say that and then one day I'm gonna be like, oh, this is perfect. But for now, I realize like a lot of it, I'm like, oh, there's a lot of prints here. I don't really know what to do with it. Um, so that's something I'll, I guess I'll have to see brainstorm about. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I have been working away at YouTube and my husband is the best. He's totally supportive and he's always, he actually gives me a lot of ideas. He, he'll, I'll tell him something I'm like thinking about and he'll be like, well, why don't you do this? And I'm like, oh, well, that's obvious. <laughs> and so he gives me a lot of my ideas or makes a lot of really good suggestions. So, um, yeah, he's very supportive. Um, supposedly he gave me an ultimatum that if I don't start contributing to our life in the next five years with YouTube, then I have to quit. I know he's joking, but <laughs> I know he'll let me do whatever I want, but he, uh, he's definitely great for sure. He, oh man, I picked up too many, or I didn't pick up enough. Um, yeah, he's, He's always helping me. I'm sure I'll get there. He, he's excited every time I have like a big jump or something in my numbers or since I got monetized, he's been really excited for me. So it's going. He actually does streaming on Twitch. He does a lot of video game streaming on Twitch. 
Um, you can find him. Oh, I forget his name. That's a bad wife of me. I should know his streaming name. <laughs> it's like Volch something. 0706? I don't remember. But he's on Twitch. Um, so he helps me set up like all my video and stuff. Um, not just because he's a streamer, but he's actually IT. So he's a computer nerd. He does, that's his job. He does IT. Um, I think that's it here. I don't want to go too far there. I already went too far. I got carried away and I went too far over, but it's okay. Oh, I'll go, I'll go down a little more here. Um, so yeah, he does computer stuff and it's really awesome when I have computer problems and he's just like, oh, let me see, tap, 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 tap. And then it's like better than it was to begin with. Um, yeah, he's got, he's got me all set up in electronics, so uh, it's, it's pretty convenient as far as like video editing and, and uh, recording and all that goes. Um, the camera that I actually use was his. He actually took that camera and bought it, or no, he bought that camera when he was in Afghanistan, he was deployed. And so he's had that camera since then, and it's just been sitting. So when we got married, like I decided to do YouTube and I was like, well, I know he has this camera that he never uses. So I picked it up and it's like, perfect. I was like, this is a pretty nice camera. You don't use it? And he's like, no, I just kind of bought it and I only used it during my deployment and then I haven't used it since. So I, he had videos and stuff on there from that. So I saved all that and, um, and so that's the camera that I use, and it works pretty well. Um, like I said, I, I want to do like a craft room tour so you can see like my setup and everything, um, but it will not be for a little bit. I'm excited in this new house that we're buying. It's, it's a really nice house, and I will actually be getting my own craft room. We normally share a room. So like our desk would be like back to back. And I would have, it, well our last setup it was like back to back and then I'd have my sewing table like over here and he'd have like his shelves and stuff here. And then over here it'd be like, that's where you would see like my mannequin and all that. Um, and then there was closets. So that, that was our last setup basically. And so now he's going to take this little area in the front of the house on the first floor. I think it's like a foyer or like a formal dining room, but it's like tiny. It's a tiny little, not tiny, tiny, but it's a little tiny area and it's, it would be really good for an office. So he's going to take that room. He's going to put some barn doors on there, make it all his own. At least that's the plan. And then I, that means I will get one room upstairs all for me. So I will have my own craft room. I have an idea how I wanna decorate it and put my little twist on it. So hopefully you guys will see that soon. Might take some time, um, but at this point, all we have is time <laughs> till January. It's annoying because I want to craft. I want to like make videos, but at the same time, I think it's kind of like a small blessing in disguise because I was so go, go, go with like doing YouTube and then like taking care of my girls and the dogs and then my husband working long days and you know, and then at the same time trying to be, have a social life and not go crazy being at home all day with two young, young children. Um, so it was a lot of go, 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 like plans, um, going out, um, like as far as like, uh, you know, not touring, what am I thinking of? Like just getting out of the house. Um, and then with normal, like cleaning the house and grocery shopping and all that, it definitely was a lot. Um, so now that I'm forced to like kind of stop, 
and relax. I, I feel really good. I feel relaxed now. I know I was really stressed out. Um, so I feel really like calm. And I think that's good. And I think uh, if anything, like my, I was talking to one of my friends yesterday and she's like, it's a good time for you to like make ideas. And I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to really sit down and like go through ideas that I wanna do or that I have and I just need to do now. Like I need to get the stuff for it and stuff like that. Um, or plan, plan out the video and stuff. So I'm gonna start doing that kind of thing soon or now, whenever I get a chance, whenever I get the inspiration for it. Um, so that is what's going on right now. What else? But yeah, Texas so far, pretty cool um hold on let me get my next number here i guess we'll do these i don't have a lot of those though let's do okay let's do these green ones this is 960 what color is that 960 oh 906 906 and it's like a lime green 907, 906. Okay, hey, let's try out this pan real quick before I forget. Or this tray, I should say. I called it a pan because it's so big. Look, it's so big. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try it out and see how this works. Actually, let me label my bag before I forget what number I'm doing. What was this? 906. Let me double check. 906. 906. Okay, let's see. This is quite a quite a few drills right here, so. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I feel like I'm panning for gold. You know, when you're a kid in elementary school and they had like that goal rush, you were learning about the goal rush. Or when you go to theme parks and they have the pan for gold. Knott's Berry Farm, if you've ever been to Knott's Berry Farm in California. Wow, look at that. That's kind of cool. How do I get them to slide down though? It's a little hard to get them to slide down. Look at that. <laughs> That's insane. I actually really like this. This is really cool. Although I don't know how I'm gonna get it back into the bag. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a little difficult getting it back into the bag, but I guess we'll work off of this for right now. And then we'll put them in the bag afterward. That aside. So you go from like, this is your normal tray to like your XL diamond painting tray. I will have this link down below. I messed up the whole like setting it up on the phone. I think I gotta do a different setup. Um, but when I'm done, the video's done and I finish, I'll put all the information for the video down below in the description box. Um, but um, yeah, this tray is pretty cool. Actually, I'm really excited <laughs> to use this. Oh my goodness. This is so cool, you have no idea. All right, um, right? Yes. Uh, let's see, what else? What time is it? Okay, I got 15 more minutes with you guys. Um, what else can I get into without getting super jabby with it? Well, like I said, uh, I'm from California. I am 33 years old. And I have two girls. One is four and the other is 18 months. And I'm sure you've seen them in some of my videos. Uh, this 
for Halloween this year, I had to buy their costumes. I was super sad to have to buy them costumes. I just, I didn't have time to make them before we moved. And so going and like looking for costumes, like I really kind of procrastinated. I bought them last Wednesday, last Wednesday. And I was like, all right, well, they need costumes now because everything's starting to run out. And I already had an idea. I wanted my oldest daughter to be Princess Leia because she has super long hair and she would have made the perfect little space buns, side, the little side space buns. And then I was gonna have my youngest be Rey because her hair is just long enough to do those little bun things that she has. But Leia was sold out in that size. So I was like, okay, well, I'll make my oldest daughter Ray because that was my original, original idea. I was originally gonna make her a Ray costume myself. That was the plan. I didn't have time. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll make her Ray then. And then my youngest, I'll make Princess Leia. But Princess Leia was sold out. Or no, yeah, Princess Leia was sold out in her size. So I was like, well, I'll keep Ray because I found her costume in that size. And I was like, when am I gonna make my youngest? So my youngest is Chewbacca. <laughs> she is Chewbacca. And I think it's fine. It's, she's, she's so young, she doesn't know any better. She looks so cute though. It is such an adorable. I'll have to post a picture in like a post um, for Halloween. Um, she loves it too. It's like a onesie almost, and she loves wearing it. So we're fine with that. She's she's good to go with that. But I figure it works out because if you've seen the new movies, Ray is mostly with Chewbacca. They're like partners. So yeah. Otherwise, oh man, my daughter would have been Elsa. She's Elsa all year round. She has like five Elsa dresses that she normally wears. Um, and my youngest is in love with Elsa too. So <laughs> I was not about to have two Elsas. And unfortunately, all the unicorn costumes were sold out. At least that's what I had to tell her. <laughs> I was like, no, you're not gonna be a unicorn. We're not doing a unicorn costume, I'm sorry. I was like, we gotta, you gotta be something different. The Halloween is, to be something different, something you would never normally be. And yeah, so I had her be Ray and she's happy with it. She's, she enjoys it. But I think this is the last year I can convince her to wear something that she doesn't pick. And I'm really sad about that because I have so many cool costume ideas I wanna make for her, but if she doesn't wanna wear them, like there's nothing I can do. I mean, if anything, I'll at least get her to model them for me, but for Halloween, I, I don't know. This year might be the last year that I get away with it. Um, I still have my youngest. I can convince her still. She's more, um, she knows what she wants, so I'm sure once she knows better, she's just gonna be like, mom, you're crazy. So yeah, so I was really sad to have to buy costumes. The costumes I got um, were from HalloweenCostumes.com. Um, the Ray costume wasn't too bad, the quality. I think it was, oh, I don't remember the prices. Um, I'm sure they were around $30, I think. Uh, but the quality of it wasn't too bad. The belt was like massive on her, so I had to safety pin that. And the gloves were like, went up her entire arm. The sizing was, hmm, she's a size four, five-ish. Uh, and it was a four to six, so it was a little big. The Chewbacca costume was perfect. 
it was for a tutti and my daughter's tutti and it fits like a glove like it's perfectly fitting um it feels like the cheapy like um fur though uh like a really cheap because you know you get the fox fur at like joann's or something and that stuff is like what twenty dollars fifteen dollars a yard um it feels like the thinnest 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 fox fur but it's she's only wearing it for the activities and halloween so it's not a big deal I, she keeps wanting to play with it and i keep taking it away because i don't want her to rip it before then after that i don't care she can wear it around the house do whatever she wants but for now i need her to save it because she's gonna wear it <laughs> um so that's halloween i'm not sure what we're doing you know with everything going on um I'm going to try and think of some sort of activity for them to do at home. We still got to get pumpkins, which I feel like I'm behind on because it sounds like pumpkins are running out everywhere. I'm afraid to go to a pumpkin patch because it sounds like people here don't wear their masks at these things because it's outside and it gets really crowded supposedly. So I'm a little nervous going to a pumpkin patch. Um, but I do want them to have pumpkins, so I don't know. We'll see if I can find some at one of the stores, like Walmart or something. Um, but yeah, this time of year, I'm just, like I said, I'm really sad because this is my favorite holiday. Halloween is my favorite holiday. I don't know if you can tell <laughs> with my, <laughs> with all the things that I make and my whole aesthetic. Um, but Halloween is my favorite holiday. Like at this point, Halloween's gonna be in my house all year long, all year round. Um, so that the fact that I'm not making any costumes right now and creating like super cool stuff is is such a bummer. I uh, I mean I'm still gonna make costumes like I said all year round. I'm still going to make edgy crafts alternative crafts all year round um but i am really sad that i can't take full advantage of this time um so maybe next year i guess next year i'm gonna guess i'm gonna go big go big or go home right um did i get them all i did okay so let's <laughs> Let's see if we can get this back into the baggie. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't have a funnel either. Like I said, I think that's something I'm, I should go on AliExpress and find. Okay, let's start with getting them all in the corner. Let me try not to shake the table. Oh, you guys aren't attached to the table, so you're all right. All right, let's see. Oh! No, nope, that's not gonna work. That is not, oh, maybe a little bit. I guess I gotta get used to it. It's okay, I'll clean it up. It's not going very far. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm gonna need like some sort of little funnel or at least get all these to one area. Yeah, so I'm, I wouldn't buy diamond paintings on AliExpress. They are not licensed, usually. Um, so for my channel, I, I just don't want to get into that liability. Um, so I will all use, always use companies that have licensed artwork, that have licensed artwork, um, or stock photos. So I'm sorry if you were looking for like different, for me to review like a whole bunch of different companies, but there's so many good YouTubers that do that already. And like I said, I don't know the ins and outs of all the copyright stuff. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. So Diamond Art Club, um, I do have a painting from DIY Moon Shop. Um, but that is currently at my in-laws house. 
So once I'm able to get that, I will try and do that um, unboxing and video and review like I do with my other videos. Oh yeah, this is really hard. <laughs> I definitely will need to find a better way to get these out. Cause look, they're like, they're not stuck, but they're like, I guess we're just gonna do this. It's already all over my table anyways. Um, so I have one from there. I have a half finished video from Paint Gem, which I have halfway done with that painting. I just have to wait till it comes in with all my home goods. And oh yeah, they're stuck in there. Oh, this one is anyways. No wait. Yeah, just this one. Um, so I have a few different companies I will be doing, but um, for now, I will have this one. So I plan to do these videos uh, at least once a week. So I'm going to try and do this sort of little live stream for you guys on like Tuesday, once a week. If not Tuesday, then definitely Wednesday um, in case stuff comes up or whatever, you know, life. And just to chat. I think next time I'll do like, um, I found a 200 question thing so we can go pick through that a little bit. Um, but I will just save my dining room painting for you guys. Uh, so you have something to watch me do. Like I said, I wish I had have the multiple cameras, but I don't have all the equipment for all that. So this will have to do, but I really hope um, this is something you guys are interested in. Cause like I said, I know I have a ton of new subscribers and I, you know, I have a bunch of different things, so I don't know who's coming for what. But if you are coming for my selling, I hope this is okay for now. Um, I will continue sewing. I did not quit. I just don't have anything to do it. So, there we go. Put those there. So, yeah. So, um, otherwise, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next Tuesday. If I end up having a video, I will upload the video on Tuesday. But if not, then I will continue to do this sort of um, what do they call them? Whipping chats or diamond paint with me, um, sort of live stream at this time. Since it's the only time it's ever quiet in my house. So I hope this works time wise for you guys as well. <laughs> like I said, I got two little girls. So when it's quiet like this, it's definitely a, a gift. <laughs> Um, so otherwise, yes, I will see you. Oh, I missed one. I will see you next Tuesday, uh, with either a live or a video, but otherwise, uh, you can hit the like button to let me know that you like this and subscribe if you have not already. And that way it'll also notify, make sure you hit that bell so that it'll notify you when I do upload videos and it'll also notify you when I think, um, when I'm live and stuff like that too. But otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching though and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Bye. Now I got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Here we go.